Well, it's a gloomy day here in Boston. <laughs> Hopefully this clears up soon. It looks like sunshine is trying to come through it, so hope so. Good morning, officially. I was up at 4 a.m. this 4 a.m. this morning with cramps. Hello, womanhood. That part sucks, and of course on the awesome day so <laughs> that wasn't fun but lots of advil and water later i was able to fall asleep for another hour and i'm now gonna get ready head towards the port by now i'm assuming you've seen the title i don't know what i'm naming this but i'm pretty sure there might be a dead giveaway to what i'm doing in the thumbnail so last night i braided my hair that way it would be curly today so now i'm gonna do my makeup let my hair down and get ready because it is over an hour drive it's like 13 miles but it's over an hour drive because of the traffic this is what i use for blush <laughs> it's a tiny little clinique compact and i think my aunt gave this to me like probably seven years ago and i hadn't used it and then i found it like last year and i've just been using it ever since so the blush is running out but i don't do my eyes so my hair was barely dry <clears throat> when i pulled this out or like still kind of damp and now my hair just looks messy, not curly. All right, everything from the bathroom, check. Everything from the sink, check. Nothing by the beds, check. This is everything I am taking on the cruise. My towel and my backpack, my bug spray, tanning lotion, and this is going in my car. And there's the ship, so exciting. <laughs> I made it on the cruise. I'm gonna be on here for the next eight days and I do have Wi-Fi, so I'll still be able to up my, upload my videos and Snapchat and Instagram, all that fun stuff. And I'm going to Bermuda for a few days, so it should be a lot of fun, but I am hungry. I haven't had a chance to eat since I got ready, so I'm going to go find dining and wait for the takeoff party. Looks like I'm the only one on it right now, but I'm not. There's just a lot of people eating. Cruise Port Boston. I just got to my room. I came to see if it was ready and it is. So I unpacked and got everything kind of settled and ready. And it is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a single bed and you know, a bathroom, but like a really small room because it's only me. It would originally be two twin beds plus a bunk bed. But what they have now is they kept the bunk bed up since it's just one person here. And they converted the two twins into a king. So I have a king size bed. So I'm gonna show you, here's the door. It's kind of small because it's a cruise ship. It's a little dark over here, there's no light, but there's some storage space, life jacket, and here's a safe, which is where I put my wallet. And then in this bad boy, there's my closet. And I mean, this is big for a cruise ship closet, I think. But these little stands fold up so you can hang clothes. So I folded one up, hung a few items here, and then I put tank tops on that shelf and my sock <laughs> socks. And then behind here I have my stuff sorted out, some suit shorts, pants, and my backpacks on the floor with the laundry that has like a pair of pants in it already that I need to do while I'm on the ship at some point once I have dirtier laundry. And then there is a mini bar. Mm -hmm. So I got sodas, beer, shots, <laughs> some wine, Red Bull, which of course you pay like $5 million for these things if you want to use. Let's see. Vodka's 10 bucks, soda's $3. Okay, it's not as expensive as I assumed. I thought it would have been worse. Bottle of water is six bucks. That's crazy. Well, there. These that come with the room and then ice bucket. So I'm assuming there's an ice thing here somewhere. Some drawers. And then after that is my vanity with the light and a big mirror. It has um, its own chair, trash, desk area. This is probably where I'll do my makeup in the mornings. And a hair dryer, which is awesome because I didn't have one while I'm traveling. And here's my bathroom, which is a lot bigger than a carnival bathroom. The ones at least I've been in. 
from I've only cruised with Carnival, but their bathrooms are not as nice as this. There's some towels and the toilet and extras over there. And the vanity is just really nice compared to what I've had in other cruise lines. And then a shower. It's like a walk-in. And then it has a sliding door. There we go. Like somehow. But it's a step down, so for drunk people that might be a little hard. And then I hung out my beach towel already. I brought that on the ship. Here is my bed. King bed, and this is the bunk I was talking about. It folds down into a bunk. A mirror with some reading lights. That is awesome. And over here is my TV area and desk. There's a little chair for it. And there's other channels to watch and channels with movies and stuff. But this just shows you the boat, what's going on, what the weather's like and everything. And then I also brought bug spray and my own sunscreen because I didn't want to pay a million dollars here to get it. <laughs> Figured I'll need this on the islands and definitely want some sunscreen while we're in the sun. This is my room key. It shows up what ship you're on, your meeting station for if there's an evacuation of the vessel. Um, the day I disembark, I think the 19th. Is that the day? I don't know. And this is basically your room key and your lifeline while you're on the ship. Have it with you at all times because it's how you pay for things and yeah. So I ate lunch. I had chicken curry. It was good. And there was a German chocolate cake that I chose for dessert, which was very rich. So I only had like two bites, but it was really cute. So I Snapchatted it. Follow me on Snapchat if you aren't already because I'm going to be snapping while I'm on the boat. At least if I can get connected to the Wi-Fi because I hear there's Wi-Fi. So now let's go see what else I can check out. <laughs> Well, safety briefing is over, and I'm lounging in this little chair, waiting for our departure party. So it's actually getting warm out. I still have to wear my sweatshirt, and I have pants on, but it's it's nice. It was raining, and everything this morning, and now it's blue skies, well, clearish. It's pretty clear, and it's warming up. So I'm excited. Although I did find out internet costs a lot, so I don't know if you're seeing this after <laughs> I'm already back in the U.S. or if I. But seems like it should be a good curse. that sun fool you it's still freezing outside but I'm gonna go see what it looks like now after I go sign up for the canvas class if it's not too expensive I'm gonna do canvas by you which is like paint night if you've ever heard of that so you like go and get all your paint stuff and you paint a canvas and someone like walks you through it and they're a lot of fun so I'm gonna do it here on the ship if it's not too expensive and then in between when I sign up and um, when the next thing is I'm going to, I might go look up in the deck and see how far out we are. There's like a solo travelers meetup, so I might go to that and see if I can make new friends. Well, wish me luck. Alright, I think I'm gonna close this vlog out. From what I think, I don't think you're seeing this until after I'm already back and off my cruise because I'm not sure I want to pay a uh, bunch of money for Wi-Fi. I am turning in for the night. I am so tired. I was up at 4 this morning and it is now like 10.30 and I thought I was gonna sleep in tomorrow because um, it's a day at sea until we get to Bermuda, Bermuda but 
I signed up for the Canvas class, so I have to be up at like 8 a.m. to do that. And we have to turn our clocks an hour ahead to be on Bermuda time. So I'm going to shower and get ready for bed and turn in. But I came in and they turned down the room. Came back into my bed already to get into. And my first animal. Oh, he even has googly eyes. Oh, 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 sorry. He's cute. It's a little doggy, I think. I don't know. It's probably supposed to be an ant water animal. And my freestyle for tomorrow. Here's our time change notice. And this tells you, like, what's on board, what you can do, like, special things that are going on. And these would be, like, all that stuff. They're trying to sell me stuff. I don't want that. This is literally... There's so much to do on cruises, like morning. All of this, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. There's never a moment without anything that something can happen. But yeah, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.